Welcome to D-Lab Electronics. In this video, I'm going to be repairing this frozen vernier dial assembly in the RME 4350 receiver. I've already verified that the receiver is operating electronically, but now we need to get it mechanically sound. So let's see what it's going to take to fix that vernier. All right, so first thing, you need to pop off this nice chrome spinning cap. And that requires an Allen key. I have worked on some of these in the past. And they get froze on to the shaft, but not this one. Then behind this little retainer plate, we're going to see the little balls in the vernier drive. So just make sure that when you're taking this apart that you know how it came apart so you can get it back together the right way. So there are some little ball bearings on this shaft right here. And if you look at the lubricant you can see it's all like black and sticky. So it's not a good lube anymore. Now it's almost an adhesive right so that's gonna have to be cleaned and that will free up the fine tuning but the problem I'm having too is the main tuning is pretty gummed up and I believe to get to the back of this and clean that ball bearing area I need to pull the face off and there's probably some retaining screws behind because they do not see any other way to get this ring off of here so I'll pull the face So removing the face from the RME doesn't look like too bad of a job. Obviously there's some set screws on all these knobs and then there's probably some nuts that are holding the bottom side of the face. This switch and this meter will require a little bit more work because they are connected to the front panel. So you're going to have to unwire the S meter and then the switch is going to lay down on the chassis. So let me get that going. I've disconnected the wiring from the S meter. This switch is pulled back. This was the dial lamp that was in the back of the meter housing. All the knobs are off and there is no nuts behind the knobs. I spotted these four screws. So it looks like that's all that is holding the front panel now. So I'm going to take those out. We'll see if she'll pop off. So the front panel is loose. However, there's a couple screws here on the back of the dial assembly and if you look down here when you move the front panel you see that shaft moving back and forth going to the tuning cap there's some set screws so I need to pop those off and then I think she'll come right out alright I got it all apart unfortunately I didn't realize that as soon as this knob got loose all these little tiny ball bearings we're gonna fall out of it and they sure did I retrieved all of them but three so somehow I need to come up with some extras so I can get it repaired just figures okay I got lucky I found all those little ball bearings so now I need to clean up these races relube and put this thing back together all right, so I've cleaned the race on the assembly that had the 19 ball bearings in it. I put some of this luber plate white grease in there. I'm going to clean the ball bearings, drop them in, bring this thing up so they don't fall out again. All right, I've got those 19 ball bearings in there and the race is in place. I put it in the vise to keep it vertical because if this falls out, the balls will drop out again. I'm soaking the other portion of the vernier now to free up that lube get her all back together get the retaining plate in there and then there'd be no chance of the thing getting any more screwed up than what I almost did all right I've got everything greased the ball bearings are ready I'm going to drop this into the raceway and get this vernier back together all right I've got the vernier drive reassembled and it is working So the fine tuning is what usually fails on these but this one is operating and this is the one to one tuning so I need to lube this ring because that's what slides in a bearing surface in the radio ok 
Okay, it's reassembly time with the receiver. I've got the vernier working the best I can. You do have to reassemble the pointer and that quarter inch shaft before putting the front panel back on the radio. Okay, I've got the front plate back on the radio. The tuning now is nice and smooth and even the vernier works. One thing I want to point out, this rear coupling that goes between the tuning cap and that front dial there's the details of that coupler. Now this is in there for misalignment. If you use a standard coupler, you're going to get binding of that shaft. So hopefully your RME still has that little mechanism intact. Alright guys, mission accomplished on the repair of the vernier drive system of the RME 4350 receiver. I'm using a little DDS VFO to align the dial for accuracy. But I'll tell you what, this was quite the job. Having to take that face off the radio and all the linkage involved and getting everything lined up, it was quite the task. It took me all day. And then you gotta be extremely careful not to lose those ball bearings in that Bernier drive. And uh, you know, it's working okay. It's nice and smooth now, tuning wise. The Vernier still has some slippage but it does operate so if you're going to take this task on I'd recommend that you set aside an entire day don't get in a rush and you'll be successful